Hi there, my name is Vadim Michalenka and I'm here to help you build Microsoft Access 2010 database in less than 20 minutes. This is what we're going to cover. We're going to create a first uh, table and the only table that's going to exist in the database that's called contacts. We're going to create a form to manage the data in the table and we're going to create a report that will print and show all the data in the database in the useful manageable format for the end user. This is a screen that users see when uh, the database Microsoft Access is launched for the first time. So I'm going to select them in the file menu. There are multiple menus. I'm going to select the blank database as my template and I'm going to see a grid that's very similar to Microsoft Excel for the users familiar with the spreadsheets. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to define the columns. We already have the default column, which is called ID, which just uh, uh, sequential increments for the table. And here, when we create a new field, we need to define the data type. Most of the time, you will be using text fields in your databases, but there are some other fields that simplify uh, searching and filtering, uh, and you need to define them in the future. Most of our fields are going to be text fields. So my first field is uh, first name. Um, then I have a, another text field called last name. Um, I'm going to have street address. I'm going to have field called uh, city. Another field called state. And the final field called uh, zip code. That's the address related fields. I'm also going to create a field that's called um, phone. And I will ex explain in a second why zip code and phone are not the numeric fields, but uh, rather text fields. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how we can enter data right on this screen, um, right in this row. But first, let's uh, save this uh, object. And this is going to be table name called contacts. So this is going to be our contact database of uh, people that we would like to contact. Could be your friends, could be your business colleagues, or uh, people, uh, your friends, and uh, other people you want to keep in touch with. And you want to, there are so many of them, hopefully, that you need to create a database that you can remember. You're a very communic communicating person that like to share. Um, so saving the database, and my first row is going to be uh, Jason uh, Smith. Street address would be 300 East uh, Calhoun uh, Road, and city would be um, Chicago, uh, State Illinois, and zip code would be uh, 30857. So the reason uh, the zip code is not text field is not numeric field is because we can have zip code in multiple formats and we can have for example something like this looking and the dash um, here wouldn't be qualified as numeric field so that's why it works while for this simple database to enter it as uh, text field same with the phone so 847 uh, 873 3577 this dashes would wouldn't qualify this for the numeric field so that's why i chose text field so i'm going to save this and this is the first row that we've created so we have one record in the uh, uh, table congratulations hopefully you are uh, doing step by step of what i'm doing to learn that's the most effective way of learning if you don't maybe pause this video and uh, launch the database and do step by step what i just did but i'm going to jump and create a um I'm going to create a form that will allow us to simplify this entry. This entry is acceptable, but kind of cumbersome and not easy for the users. So what we're going to do is the next step, we're going to go to the create menu and we're going to create a form. And here you go. We've got a form and there are some navigation that comes with this form. You see that this is the number of records. We only have one record. It shows everything that we've entered for Jason Smith um, and now we can um, create another record right this would be a new record and here we're gonna uh, type uh, another um, name and we're just gonna do 
So this was design view. I switched to the uh, form view because uh, you can't type in the design view. So we're going to create a new record. I'm going to say uh, Jennifer um, Lopez, street address um, 405 East Lake uh, Drive, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 53188 and the phone is uh, top secret phone 414-875-5439 so you see that we have two records now and we have a form and we can manage and navigate between Jason Smith and we can and Jennifer Lopez right so very simple and we can create a new record and add as many records as we'd like so, but I'm going to save this form and the form name is contacts and I'm just going to give to the name uh, contacts form. Um, there's an icon that's going to differentiate it and it's going to be in the forms category, but it's always nice when you read to know, okay, am I dealing with the form or am I dealing with the table? So just a quick tip here. Um, and then the last thing we're going to do in this video, we're going to create a report. And the last thing we're going to do in this video, we're going to create a report based on the um, uh, contacts table, the values of data in contacts table. So what I'm doing here is I am uh, selecting the contacts table and I'm clicking uh, report design. And uh, it shows the contacts. This is the table. And I'm only interested in the first name through the phone field. So I select the first name and then I uh, keep the shift button selected so I can select multiple fields or I can drag them one by one um, so first name uh, last name and you can use arrows to navigate and adjust them then street address uh, city state and the phone that's the last field so i'm going to try to align them as much as possible and i use arrows that's the easiest way here and then what i'm also going to do i'm going to change this area a little bit so we have saved some room and we're going to select all of these fields and move them a little bit up and this is our report and let's see how it looks like i'm going to click on report view and these are our two records and we can add additional fields headers titles and uh, all sorts of different things but that's uh, the default report hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, if don't forget to download the source file if you're interested just go to how to analyze data.net and search for the topic um, of this video also if you like this tutorial make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel i'm vadim michalenka at uh, how to analyze data on youtube and check out our free uh, udemy.com uh, courses just come to the site and search for how to analyze data on udemy.com and i really appreciate your feedback if you find this information useful or even if you don't just share the honest feedback and uh, let me know what you think this is very important to me i read all of them and uh, uh, always thankful for people who spend time and uh, type their thoughts see you next time